If you're in a really competitive market, then you need to create a niche for yourself and be the best at one certain thing if you want to win customers. Hi, I'm Evan Carmichael and I believe that hungry entrepreneurs deserve help. So today I'm answering a question from one of our Facebook readers, Mercy, who wrote in saying, <clears throat> I'm an author and would love some tips on how I can work for myself as a freelance writer. So thanks for writing in, Mercy. You are in one of the most competitive fields there is. Freelance writing is really tough. You're going up against huge competition and it's a race to the bottom. You can go on Text Broker and get somebody to write articles for you for a cent per word. A cent per word. It's a race to the bottom. It's, it's terrible and the quality often sucks, but it's hard for people to tell the difference between somebody good like yourself and somebody else who just calls them a freelance writer. So it's on you to show how you're different than everybody else. And a really great way to do it is to niche yourself out. So think of another strong passion of yours and try to combine it. So there's be a freelance writer because everybody's a freelance writer. Try to find something else that you're deeply passionate about that you absolutely love doing, absolutely love writing about and be the best at that as well. If you can combine those passions and promote it, then you want to be known as the guy to hire for these kinds of writing projects, not just any kind of freelance writer. A quick example, uh, a friend of mine, his name is Anton, he's a copywriter. And already, just being a copywriter, you've separated yourself from all the other writers. But still, there's a lot of copywriters. So how do you stand out in a really competitive field? What he does, is he calls himself the LinkedIn bio specialist. And what he'll do is he specializes, specializes in copywriting people's LinkedIn bios, helping them drive more business through LinkedIn through their well-written bios. And that gets him attention. And he rewrote my LinkedIn bio. And then I hired him to write a sales letter for me. And it can lead to more and more business, but you need your way in. You need something that helps you stand out from everybody else, that drives attention, drives awareness, and once they like you, know you, trust you, enjoy working with you, they're going to hire you for more projects. So Anton is out now promoting himself as the LinkedIn specialist. And he'll write to guys like Jack Welch on Twitter and offer to redo their LinkedIn bios. And it leads to business for him, not just in creating a LinkedIn bio, because that's a small job, but when people are impressed with what he does, they say, hey, can you also do this? Can you write our sales letter for us? Can you write our newsletter copy for us? Can you write our landing page copy for us? So it leads to more business. You have to find another way, another passion of yours to help you stand out. It's not just words. It's not just promotion. It has to have some teeth to it. You have to feel it. You have to love this extra thing that you're doing. You love writing about XYZ and you are the best in the world at doing it. I hope that helps. For those of you who are like Mercy, if you're in a competitive field, and we all are, there's increased competition, you're up against the whole world. You have to find a way to stand out. You have to do it by combining your interests. Because nobody can compete with who you are. So combine those passions. Put yourself into the business. Tell them your story, why you started this business. Let them see your passion. Let them catch it like a fever. And they'll want to do business with you. You'll be known as the certain expert for whatever topic you want to be known as. That will help drive your business and will help you stand out for your competition. For those of you watching, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up below. Always makes me want to do more videos for you. And I'd love to hear what you have to say about this video or if you have a question for your own company, always leave it in the comments below. I read those. I check them in the morning when I'm eating my breakfast. I love seeing them come in. So thank you and I'll see you on the next episode.